Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Bob's Woodshop. Hey, I think I'm going to do a uh, another plane restoration. This is the first time I'm going to do a, a all wood plane. And uh, I think this should be a fun little project. Uh, I got a little bit of a problem here with, I got some gap. This is delaminating here, so I'm going to have to rip that off and re-glue that before I uh, get on with the entire project. But uh, let's get into it and see if we can make this thing uh, return to its former glory. Thanks a lot for tuning in today. So this plane was given to me by my good buddy, Ken Hyman. And I'm just doing some examination on this and taking off some staples. Uh, you can see how nice and old and nasty this thing is. It's cracked and it's really well used. So I really did this just for the experience of fixing up one of these old planes. I'm not going to actually use this, but I did want to get it in working order. So there I was just flattening out the bottom. My original idea was just to clean off the dirt with this with some uh, soapy water and leave the original patina on there. But it had a bunch of uh, paint spots on it and generally really nasty. So I ended up deciding just to go ahead and scrape it and sand it. So this really didn't take too long at all. And just uh, getting it cleaned up and wiping off all that old patina and d grime. So I lost the footage of me sharpening the blade iron and the iron was really well used. The edge of the iron was about a half an inch away from the big hole that holds the chip breaker on there so this blade iron was really pretty much shot so here I'm just experimenting with getting some shavings off it and this is the old style plane so you have to use a little hammer to get the iron just at the right spot but I was able to get some nice shavings right now I'm trying it on a piece of oak here I'm trying it on a piece of uh, pine. And you see I'm getting really nice gossamer shavings off of this thing. So actually I'm very happy with this. And this is before I put a finish on it. And I'm planning to put some boiled linseed oil on it as you'll see in a minute. So actually I'm pretty happy I was able to get these types of shavings on such an old plane. But I've... I guess I've done enough of these that I know how to get these things sharp and basically what I did is I used my Grizzly wet sander and then my 300 and 1000 Tren sharpening stone. And you see the shavings off, off this are coming up really nice. So that's what it's looking like. Now it's time to put on some finish. And I'm putting on some boiled linseed oil, which is perfect for tools and bench tops. I actually started this project about a month ago. And between all the other projects I've been doing, I finally had some time this afternoon to get this one finished up. And this puts a nice new finish on it, and I think it looks uh, very attractive. But like I said before, this plane has been used by, I bet, many different carpenters. Uh, this thing is very old, and it was all cracked, and you know it's just better for decoration than actually using it. The newer planes, I believe, are um, much better and easier to use. The adjustment on this with the hammer uh, takes a little bit extra time, and the modern mechanisms are much nicer. So I spent maybe five or ten minutes putting all this boiled linseed oil on, letting it soak in wiping it off. Of course, whenever you use boiled linseed oil, make sure you properly dispose of the rags. Best thing to do is put them out in the sun and let them dry. So now we're getting down to the short strokes here and just uh, you're really rubbing in the boiled linseed oil. And here's what it's looking like. So here's a couple pan shots coming up. And nice old antique. I'd love to know how old this is and how many carpenter's hands this was actually in over the years. But overall, it's a nice project. It's a nice decorative project.
All right, came out pretty nice. So it's time to put it up on the weapons and tool restoration wall. And uh, yeah, so you know what to do. If you're liking my channel, please like, comment, or subscribe. And until next time, stay safe in your shop. And I'll see you on another episode of Bob's Woodshop. Thanks, and bye-bye.